Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're looking for a simple, inexpensive way to ramp up your survival gear, get a stack of emergency blankets. Mylar survival emergency blankets are very inexpensive and can be used in lots of different ways. Each blanket opens up to a great big size that can shelter you in an emergency. Each blanket is only about a dollar they're cheap enough that you should always carry at least two in your outdoor gear. When you open up an emergency blanket, you can see that they're very large. They're larger than your body, but they make a lot of noise. Be aware that the noise factor can be disturbing if you're trying to use one of these to sleep. Emergency blankets are usually larger one direction than the other. Wrap an emergency blanket completely around you. The metallic surface reflects your body heat and in only one or two, maybe three minutes, you can feel the heat being reflected back into your body and it's immediately making you warmer. It also is waterproof, so if you're out in a rainy situation, the emergency blanket can keep the rain off of you as well. If it's raining, wrap it completely over your head. If you're out and about, you can also use it to cover yourself and your gear and help keep the rain off of you. If you're camping with an emergency blanket, a good thing to do is lay it down as a ground sheet. You can use it under your tent or even under your sleeping bag. If you're caught out in the cold and you don't have a tent or a sleeping bag, put something down like a bed of leaves or even your jacket to help insulate the ground. Then lay this over that and lay on it and wrap up in it if you need to. If you don't want to hold the emergency blanket around you, you can use it as a poncho that keeps your hands free for hiking around. You can attach an emergency blanket to some sticks or a tree and actually make a shelter out of it. If it's windy, you can use it as a backstop to protect a fire and it will help reflect the heat and help warm you at your emergency shelter or campfire. While you're using your emergency survival blanket, the silver is reflecting and can be used to signal for emergency. If your feet are cold or wet, cut off a section of your emergency blanket and wrap it around your foot and stick it back inside your shoe. It'll help keep your feet dry and help warm them up from the natural heat of your body. One of the downsides of the emergency blankets is they are noisy. Plus, they tend to hold in condensation. So if you're using it and you find yourself becoming wet or damp, you need to try to air that out as much as possible so that you don't get wet and then get a chill from that. There are a lot of uses for an emergency blanket. Make sure you take at least one with you anytime you set out into the out of doors. An emergency blanket at only about a dollar could actually be a piece of gear that could save your life. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.